Hello, and welcome to Written Communications. My name is Alan Jackson, and as you can see, there is a real teacher teaching this class online. And the beauties of doing that, as you can see around me, I'm in the comfort of my own home. And that's the beauty for you, too. You can do it not only at home, but outside, or anywhere you want to. But the key to this class is doing it. Logging in, posting, being active, participating, all through the whole week. Our week lasts for seven days. We have no holidays. Sometimes I will expect you to turn in anything in on a holiday, like Labor Day coming up. But the class is open for business 24-7. So the key to this success in this class, and there's a couple of them I want to go through right now, is participate. Notice on the contract letter, you should have got it in your email. I sent one to both your WCTC email and your alternate email that you had in your uh, records here at WCTC. Just in case you didn't check your WCTC email out off the bat, that's why I sent it to the alternate. But that's the only time I will be. According to the policy here at college, you have to send something through your WCTC email for it to be, quote, official. If you send me an assignment through your Yahoo account, even though I receive it, WCTC does not recognize it. The reason behind that is simple. When you send something through the WCTC email, you have a copy of it, naturally. I get a copy if I receive it, and it's also on the server. So, it should never, hardly ever be a lost document if you send it through the WCTC email. The other thing is participating. This is a class that you have to log on at least, you know, to make an A, you have to log on and post something at least five days a week out of the seven. Your blog, which you'll read about and I'll talk about more, you have to log on five days a week and on those five days post at least 100 words. I will give you some prompts to talk about or I'll give you something else to do. It could be open to you, whatever you want to post, but you have to do it five days a week, 100 words a day, in order to make an A in your blog. The biggest part of your grade, though, is your discussions, your participation there. That's 40% of your grade. And to succeed in the discussions, you need to go into there, log in, and post up in at least four days a week. And you have to respond to your classmates, and I'll talk about more of that in depth when we look into the discussion area. I just want to give you a few tips, especially those who want how to succeed, be active in the class. You notice that we have several discussions that I've got up there now. One of them is a help discussion. If you ever have any questions about the class, post them there. And if somebody else can get in there and answer the question before I do, they'll learn extra credit. So even if you don't have any problems, you might want to check in that discussion every once in a while, see if you can help somebody out. And if you can, then they'll get extra credit. When it comes to help, though, I'm not the Blackboard expert. I can help you with matters of the class materials. So have that IT help desk number handy. Go to those surviving and thriving Blackboard classes that are being offered by Rand Rohde down at the Omni Tech Center. And that'll help you out a lot. We also have a place called the Cyber Cafe. That's where you can talk about anything that you want. But keep it clean. Uh, I'll have a couple of assignments this week that I want to do some commenting on in the Cyber Cafe. Well, that's it for now. As you go into the different areas of the course this first week, I'll have more of these video announcements to keep up with. So I will talk to you later.